This is Jamie Boyum at Mod Cobb, and it looks like there's not much going on here right now. Very empty, but things are about to crank up, right? Mark yes, Dole sir. Weber? Yes, sir. We've got the whole front parking lot out to Cotton is now full with uh, recipients coming to receive their boxes and hens or turkeys and uh, and head home and have a good Thanksgiving. All right. And so uh, how many people are you serving? Uh, we're expecting over a 1,000. Wow. Okay. Uh, families. Yeah, right. right. And these they, these are pre-qualified people. They they come in. It's just we ask them to apply. They you know there's not really a qualification. Just go and apply. Put your name down and address and how many is in the family. And we have five agencies. If they go through and do this through November first, and then we build our list and everything. So we and send out a uh, card to remind them to come and be here today. Okay, yeah, and I guess there's different cards, different size families? Yeah, the bigger families get a blue card, smaller ones get an orange, and the, to break it down, the smaller families get one box and a hen with a loaf of bread, and the bigger families will get two boxes with a turkey and a loaf of bread. Okay, and I guess uh, the action's not going on inside here. It's, no, They're not it's pulling not. through. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, we set it up as a drive-through on either side of the building. So it becomes very efficient, very quick to get everybody uh, through and served, and uh, we're really we're excited about it. So the uh, where did the meat come from? Was that donations? Or? No, the meat is the meat and bread is what we we raise funds from contributors, and we purchase that. So that's coming from uh, buying it from donations and all. So we spend about probably seventeen to eighteen thousand getting that. Wow, okay. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's, I guess that's a drive you guys working on here. Oh, uh, well, no, we pretty well push. It starts in uh, late summer and uh, goes through the fall. We have uh, wonderful donors that have supported us over the years, and they continue to feel like it's a great cause, and they continue to support us. Yeah, because this, uh, you say over the years, it's been a few years you guys have been doing this, right? Oh, 38 years, I think we are at this point. So, yes, we, we've been doing this for a while. <laughs> And so, we keep trying to learn and get better at it. So, and then again, you got a whole bunch of volunteers up here. Oh, yes. We have young, uh, a whole group of uh, about 15 or so young students. I know just went out one door, and then we have a group of, of other volunteers, uh, a, a group, Mr. Cooper. I mean, their people will usually come, and they will be here, quite a few of them, and help uh, on a business. And then uh, high school students and parents and leaders join us. Wow, and this is all kind of thrown together the day before. They all show up. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's as our volunteers come in on Monday to help pack, we think we had maybe 150 in here yesterday boxing everything. Then we probably got another 30 to 40 that will show up today and help us hand all these out, put them in people's cars as they drive through. It's phenomenal. They just show up every year and we are so blessed to, because it won't happen without those volunteers. Oh, that's true. That would be a bit of a nightmare. I would oh, imagine. yes, it would be. I, I would be very tired if I had to put all these boxes in somebody's car. <laughs> and it would also be after Christmas by the time you uh, Probably so, if it's just me trying to help load it, for sure. <laughs> so, you know, uh, how does this uh, what kind of feeling you have being able to do something like this? Well, it, it is, you know, just a part of that giving back to the community. You, you get so much from the community over the years that I've lived here and families grown up here. You're just always glad to give back and help in some way. And I've been with this agency probably 20 plus years or so. And we just started keeping good records to figure out, okay, who's coming, what are they doing? So we can know and be better prepared to serve everyone. So you've been with it when it pretty much was just you. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> not just me. We've got uh, good volunteers, Charlotte Davis, Bob Graham, um, James Roberts, uh, Elizabeth Harrison, uh, Betty Horaney, of course, is just our big anchor. And um, so we all uh, do it. When we have the great support of Super One and Brookshire's. Oh, they, the boxes that we've got that make this possible. In years gone by, we just would pick up random boxes and try and tape them up, and it would just be uh, a, a big <laughs> problem. Now they bring us good boxes that we just snap together and it, it meant wonderful.
Yeah, I remember those days of the random boxes, and it, some of them were like <laughs> giant refrigerator boxes, and uh -huh. just put the food in the corner over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or, or fill them up and then try to figure out how am I going to pick this up when it uh, weighs uh, 75, 80 pounds. Yeah, yeah, crazy. So uh, how long do you think this thing will take? A couple hours? We, we, we spread them out from 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. So, uh, so that everybody doesn't come at the same time is the idea, so. Yeah, good deal. Well, thanks a lot, Mark. Uh, appreciate all the information. And uh, it looks like it is about to begin. It's getting started, it's starting off now, yes. Mm -hmm. So, good. thank you. He got stuff to do, he's gotta get out of here. <laughs> we'll have more later on KLTV7 News and KLTV.com and happy Thanksgiving.